You know why we're here, it's Santa Pod. It's the mecca for drag racing in the UK and it's freezing cold. So it isn't the ideal track temperature. Uh, the track's gonna be pretty cold. Um, I don't know what the track temp is at the moment, but it's not cold. ideal. So hopefully we're gonna get some improvement with some sunshine. Is today gonna be the day, on the last round of Outlaw Street, round six, is today gonna be the day the, the Nova goes nine? We've been at 10.21 at 131 so far. The Escort has gone uh, 10.19, and we're throwing all the nitrous at it this weekend, so that might be the first nine we get out of the team. Outlaw Street, which is the race series that I'm in, we're currently in round six, I'm in third place. I was in second, now I'm in third place. Today could be the day that I either end up first if the two first and second places break today. Not that I'm hoping that happens, but let's see what happens with it. Third place, I could make it to first if it all stays in one piece. Is it a nine? Is it not? Let's see what happens. So we're, at, we're currently, we're, we're now at the start line. We're Are you tense? two cars away. Tense? I'm ten tense. I'm camping. I'm so tense. Um, we're two cars away from the escort going out. The only we, we're spraying it. We're putting nitrous on it. Full beans, full scent. First run out. Make it or break it. Fix it or fuck it. One of the two. However, it is cold today. As I mentioned earlier, it's pretty chilly. I've just seen two nine-second cars go tens. So it is. It may work. We're going to see what's going to happen. The tension is building. What's going to happen? I don't know. We'll find out in two cars' time. shape in first gear. Damn it. It worked, it worked. Oh, oh. That was a 10.38 at 126, but it was all out of shape in first gear. I think you probably saw that in the footage there. Uh, it, it was all over the place in first gear, but we know the nitrous is working. We've got a nice load of, well, as the nitrous came in, you get a bit of soot coming out of the exhaust. So the, the front end came up, could have been better. See what happens next time. Here he is. Add Hi. Hi. So, what happened? Uh, no grip in second. Was it second, was it? Grab like second gear. The front came up nice. It launched fine. It went off the line, no problem, like normal. Yeah. Grab second gear and it, it went, went sideways. nicely it like, sideways, didn't it? All right, I'll get out of that one. Got out of it, got back in it again, it was fine again. Through the top end, it missed fine. Did it? So I think we ran out of nitrous. So um, let's, let's go get some more nitrous. Yeah, yeah, and, uh, and some race fuel. And some fuel. Well, the nitrous should have been in by 60 foot. So it should have been all in in All first. of it should have been in, in, which is probably why it didn't hook up in second. Because it was making too much steam. Yeah. Ah. It's, what's your bottle pressure? It's 700. Right, okay. So it's down to, yeah, 700. Shall we, are you going to run straight again? I'll go round again. Yeah. I'm going to run it without nitrous this run. Yeah. Just to make sure it goes through the top end, all right? Yeah. Because it spluttered a couple of times. So we'll get it, so we do this run, go yeah. back to the pitch, yeah. we'll pull the plugs out of it. Yeah, I've got another set of plugs in the van, so yes. stick a set of plugs in it. Wingman, see, yeah. he's already on it. So, we, yeah, we'll pull the plugs, maybe whip the bottle out, go and get that filled, get some gas, get yeah. some race fuel for it. Let's go, okay. put the plugs What do you run? 10.38. Yeah. 
That's big. still faster than it is on motor anyway. It didn't go off the line very well. No, 151. 150. I think the weather is against us today. As I mentioned earlier, we are, it's far colder in the track. Colder atmosphere and cold track temperature. And as Adam, like you said, shifted into second, it just spun the tyre, so, which it never does, really, no, does it? Never. It's always, always worked, so. We'll find out. We're, we're going to put some race gas in it, some more, nit more nitrous, pull the plugs, give it a little bit of a service after this run. We're going to run a motor run now, which has mean no nitrous and just see how it works, so. Maybe next time. You've got coffee, don't you? Oh, yeah, I'm all right, Jack. Anyway, Nick, how are you? Right. You're not on camera today. No, I know. We're gonna have to get you on on the screen because well, you're a centre pod. I mean, that's a big deal. A passenger run. That is a good idea. Let's do lid. that. I bought the lid. Okay. And my wagon's only there. Okay. Today. We'll do that. Then. We'll do that. Cold, I know that much. You're cold. You should get BBC code. Chilly. You didn't one, did you? No, I didn't. Thanks, BBC. Yeah, you got BBC race stuff, didn't you? It's a shut up. I did, and they're in my car. <laughs> there you go. Then. Adam, hi. How awesome was that? That was fucking awesome. I'm, that was really cool. Um, so it's so all you will need to put there. Like, oh. my God, have you seen the photo of it? I've seen a barrier that's covering the front wheels. Um, that was a jump pack. Like, it was the hardest I've ever seen that car launch. It's definitely the hardest. It's launched. Definitely the hardest. And why is that? Because it's know. like the weather's not the best. Didn't spin. Like, didn't spin in 10, second gear. 10, 20, 10, 25, which is easily the fastest on the, on motor. the motor. Yep. And in fact, that's only point one. six hundredths off of the fastest time with nitrous so yep. far. Fuel, one fuel and gas. One forty three sixty foot. Yep, with no gas. So the next run, I'm gonna play with the controller and the nitrous. Yeah. I'm gonna put it in a bit later. Yeah. So I'm in second gear by the time it's given it. Uh, I, okay. I think the 180 shot and 0.9 of a second. When I grab second gear, it had everything in it. So I'm gonna blend it out a little bit. Yeah. Give it a chance to hook up. That was because that silly. Mate, like, it was like on. it was shot out of a gun. Back to its normal. Yeah. No, faster. Arrow, arrow straight. Faster. The back actually came down a bit. I and think the front was like reaching for the sky. It was I awesome. think you'll probably notice from the in-car footage, I was a bit surprised with the launch yes! this time. Yes! That's <laughs> so good. <laughs> um, I nearly didn't launch it, though. The guy that was in the right lane stuck it on the two-step. Yeah. And it popped and banged and cracked. And it sounded like it was in the like car. Like the escort, yeah. And that's why I sat on the line for a bit longer, because I was like, is it, oh, no, it wasn't me. It's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. It sounded like something had fallen out the back corner, so yeah. I, was, I was a bit cautious, but yeah, it hooked. Mate, well. that was the, that's the best I've seen that car go. It looked like it was reaching for the sky. She, she, she very rarely, if she gets to the line, she's yeah. going. Five minutes later. Where are we going over, quick? We're going over here because the car never made it back to the pits. It's over there somewhere. Right? It never made it back to the pits because... And I don't know drag racing, but I would say for motorsport, that's not good. No, okay, so if you get to... It means that, as I just said, the car went 11.0, which is really quite slow for that car. We're not sure why, but the fact that when he didn't show back up, the fact that he got towed back round means sign, that it? something's broken. It is drag... It's drag racing, stuff breaks. You know, you're using these cars, they're under a lot of strain, perhaps more so than, than a track day. So um, we're gonna go and see Adam and see what's uh, see exactly what's going on. But as you can see, it's being pushed. So that's, uh, again, that's drag racing. Uh, okay. Can you try to find it up again? What did you do? Oh, really? Right, stick the jump pack on it. Uh, it's probably about lane. Um, have, have you figured out what it is yet? Though? Well, it, well, one thing I have seen is that the fuel pressure is low. If this gauge is to, is to be believed, it means the fuel pressure is very low, which is not good because it means you get more. You get a disproportionate volume of nitrous to fuel pressure. So it looks, it looks like if the gauge is correct, it means it would have had uh, uh, more nitrous than fuel, which would cause it to run lean. But. Um, it just cut out at the top of the track, didn't make any funny noises, and we just fired it up and it ran okay, I think. Um, I, I don't know. 
I don't know. But that is clean as a whistle. Um, uh, the separate fuel regulator for the nitro system isn't working. I've taken it apart and it looks okay inside. I haven't got a spare one, which is a bit annoying because it's quite a basic little me mechanical thing. Uh, so the nitrous wasn't working properly, which is really annoying because it's got the potential to be really fast today. I'm going to mess about a bit later on, see if we can get it working. Frustrating, yes. But, but we have. Because we're motor addicts. We're going to fix it. Yes, we've got a spare. <laughs> As always, because we've got a plethora of race cars to choose from. But most importantly, we've got. Um, We've got till 8 o'clock tonight and tomorrow. So even if I nick the regulator off of mine temporarily just to test it, I don't know. So we'll see where we're going to go. Well. I'm gutted. Yeah. We're now in a shootout with the Barracuda. And I'm going to run the Nova. And I haven't even fired it up yet. Hey. Make me proud. Make Daddy proud. Oh, well. uh. If not, it's very close to. Yeah, girl. That's what she says on the tin every time. Every time. Okay, right. So keeping it snappy. That is. I didn't realise it. I was looking at the guy next to me because he was. That was who I was racing. Dave. Uh, I got in front of him off the line, and he slowly come round me. It's a twin turbo LSX. He's always going to have the big end. But actually, the old girl done good. Same as before, I haven't adjusted anything apart from sort my fuel pressure up last time. First run of the day. First run of the day, and I PB'd it. 10, 15, 129 or something? 129. Fastest it's ever gone. That was another 700 off my previous fastest. So, oh, I'm super stoked. Yeah, man. So I'm, I'm amped now because what that actually means is that was with a big wheelie. So what I'm going to do is take some wheelie out the front of it. I'm going to firm the front end up a little bit up the fuel pressure and just go again. Obviously the track's working, so, um, woo, yeah. Let's see what happens, let's see what happens. Come on, Ad, let's have some fun, shall we, mate? stayed about eight inches ahead of me the whole time. Yes, Ed. Oh, hi. One or two? That was number one. I'm not doing number two, I've got to sleep in here. <laughs> um, you know what, though? You have a banana. I have a banana. Or the mood lighting. Good, isn't it? Is this a review or is this going to be sexy time? No, I'm just doing my flies up because I've just been to the toilet. Okay. Uh, Quick one minute summary of, of what's going on. So that, that was probably my favorite race, even though it wasn't my personal best, it was my favorite race of the day. I raced Adam, 
as you'll see in the GoPro footage, I raced Adam, um, and we were door to door the whole time. I think he got out on me at the start by about five feet, and we stayed dead even the whole way. And I was just beaming the whole time. I, I was. I was gritting my teeth a little bit towards the end. I really wanted to edge past him, but the weight of the Nova uh, compared to the Escort, I mean, the Nova weighs a good, I would say, that thousand pound more than the Escort. It's 500, 600 kilos. Um, but just the fact you've been there with your mates and your daughter door racing, I mean, that's what it's all about. It was just great, great fun. I was hoping to improve. We, we adjusted the suspension. We tried to take out a bit of wheelie from the front, which I did. It only came up a couple of inches, but it wasn't, it didn't improve my time. So um, we're still launching it really hard, but it didn't improve the time. So uh, we'll have another crack tomorrow. We're here tomorrow as well um, and see how it goes. But that was, uh, that was so enjoyable. It's really nourishing. It's really my, I, I just loved it. And, and you know, and you look across when you're coming over the line and you can see him and he's going like that and we're going, yeah. And that was just like, yeah, it's fantastic. So, so personal best for the Nova today? Personal best for the Nova today. We went from a 1021 down to a 1015. Personal best for the Escort on the motor with no nitrous. That went down from a 1038 down to a 1025. Which is, to make large improvements like that with no power adder and just by adjusting suspension is quite significant really. So um, so the, both of us came away, even if we left now, we'd both come away satisfied because the cars have both worked better progressively throughout the year. So uh, it's good fun all in all. We'll what summarise there, shall we? That, that, that's, the, that's the bottom line of it. Yeah. If you've liked it, that's, this is my sport. It's not everyone's cup of tea, but follow us. We've got loads more stuff we're doing with Motor Addicts. Loads more car reviews coming up, but if you like it, you know, share, subscribe, and hit the bell where you can, because we'd love for everyone. The more people watch us, the more it gives us opportunity to share stuff with you guys. So thanks very much for watching. We're not done yet. No, we're not. What? What? Cheeky holds? bit of bonus footage. Oh yes. I'm going for a ride along. You are actually. I'm going to go I've in the Nova for a ride along. So we'll you'll see this in the in the uh, what outtakes after. Yeah, go on then. Let's have that then. All right, good. So welcome back to a little bit of bonus footage. Yes. This is my first ever run in a drag racing car. Actually, today's been my first day stood at a drag racing start line. I'll be getting way through. Um, I don't know what to expect. Uh, the car's obviously been running quite well today. It is cold out there, but I think we're running between uh, like ten one five maybe and ten eight. But obviously a bit of weight, a bit of ballast. Look at that, my God. Uh, so I'm, it's obviously night time, but we just lit up down the strip. It's um, it's pretty daunting actually. Here we go. Are you ready? Uh, no, but let's, let's get a little bit of warm in the tires, shall we? Woo! Here we go. I'm feeling a bit nervous now. Yeah, we're about to make it happen. So let's see how we get on. My heart is, my heart rate has come up already. Vibrating underneath me. Right. Jesus. Okay. Are you ready, Nick? It's going to be interesting. We're up against that kit car thing, aren't we? Yeah. Well, kind of. I'm putting myself in, ready to be snapped back, but I'm a little bit scared. Oh god. Okay. The lights, the lights are there. We're there. Isn't it? It's just, it's so instant. Now we can't see anything. No, we've got some headlights. Jesus. The sensation is like. I was I was trying to, but nothing braces you. It's nearly snapped my head off. <laughs> oh man. Good God. Yes. And it's like, it, it's the closest thing. I don't even know how to compare it to anything, to be honest with you. I, I can't even really. It feels like I've been shot out of a cannon. I oh, know, the sense that there isn't like, anything like it. It's all it. the build up, and then boom, and off you go. It, it, it's such an instant, like, zero to wow. bosh, yeah. you're gone. Well, oh know, man, I'm so glad you're coming along. That's brilliant. I don't know what time we got, but. 
No, I don't know. It won't be my fast this time. It felt, um, not with a ballast boy. Doesn't matter. Uh, oh God, guys, I wish you could, um, I wish you could, be, well, yeah, hopefully you've been along for the ride with me. I mean, uh, I don't know how well the footage is going to come out. I'm lit by two iPhones. Shout, <laughs> shout out to iPhone. Yeah. Shout out to Steve Jobs. Oh, wow. Good God. Wow. Did you feel, did uh, you, how was the, the sensation of the front coming off the ground? Well, it's a lot to take in. I, it really is. I couldn't feel elevation more than just like this boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's instant, isn't it? Absolutely instant. I cannot see anything. No. Gee whiz. Wow. Oh, well, we're going to, we're going to cut there because I need a little moment just to assess what just happened a little bit. <laughs> that was impressive though. Very impressive. Oh. Jeez. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed me uh, getting my head snapped off um, and my chiropractor. I'll be calling you soon. <laughs> I want you.